Expect Notre Dame to win big games. There I said it. Expect Notre Dame to win big games. I haven't said anything close to that since Lou Holtz left campus in 1996. I haven't even thought it since then. Not even when Ty Willingham led the Irish to a 10-1 start in 2002 or when Brady Quinn was throwing touchdowns all over the place in 05 and 06. Those teams were paper thin. They were paper giants. They were slow. They got exposed late in the season against really good football teams. But this Notre Dame team is different, especially on defense. Mark Rogers TV here to preview the Irish and the Stanford Cardinal, number 17 in the nation, taking on number 7 Notre Dame at Notre Dame Stadium on Saturday. Yeah, the defense is different. Fast, athletic, tenacious, hard-hitting. The front seven is a wall, dominant, top five in the nation, giving up just eight points per ball game, just three last week against Miami in a 41-3 route. And yeah, the Canes are down overall, but the, the offense is pretty good. It scored 86 points against uh, two BCS conference teams the previous two weeks. Manti Teo is a monster. We all know it. He gets all the pub, and deservedly so. We've talked about him in the past. We've really talked the Notre Dame defense up several times against Michigan, Michigan State, and Purdue, previewing those games. But we want to highlight one guy and tell you to look out for Stefan Tuitt this week, sophomore from Georgia. Already has six sacks on the season for Notre Dame. The secondary has really stepped up as well, ravaged by injuries and suspect to begin with. The Notre Dame secondary has played really well, although the real challenges are upcoming against Oklahoma and USC. The Irish offense has been steady, not turning the football over like it did in 2011. So credit the sophomore, Everett Golson, three touchdowns, three picks, 60% passing, but he turned in his best throwing effort last week against Miami, 17 of 22. So Coach Kelly opening things up just a bit and giving him a little bit more leeway in the offense in running the Irish offense. That is still a ground attack led by Sierra Wood, ran for a buck 18 against Miami, Theo Riddick, and George Atkinson, the real home run threat, 123 against Miami, averaging 9.3 per carry. Okay, that's Notre Dame. Stanford, they've got the real X factor on the field. It's not Golson so much, it's Josh Nunes. Josh Nunes is completing 54%. And if you saw him play against Washington on the road, the Stanford loss, he was horrible. Then he comes back and plays really well when Stanford needed him to put points on the board and barely getting by Arizona in overtime, 54-48. Nunez had multiple touchdowns throwing and rushing in that game as uh, the Cardinal came through on offense. So Nunez, the X factor, he's got a couple of tight ends who are really good. I don't know where Stanford gets these guys. You've got uh, Ertz and Tololo. Tololo Gets downfield as a tight end, averaging almost 20 yards per catch. He's got a couple touchdowns, as does Ertz. Uh, the Stanford defense, we talked it up in the preseason, and we especially talked it up big after handing USC that loss in which Barkley only scored two touchdowns against the Stanford defense, especially the front seven really got after him. But uh, then they turn around and against Arizona, an Arizona team that got shut out by Oregon, Stanford gets blasted for 48 points and 617 total yards. But a couple footnotes here. They got the stops in the fourth quarter and in overtime when they needed them. And their top cornerback, Terrence Brown, had to leave the game in the first quarter. and He should be ready for the Irish. So Notre Dame-Stanford, very similar football teams. But uh, we like Golson over Nunez. Golson is taking care of the football and he's working himself into the offense. Nunez more up and down. We definitely like the Notre Dame defense all over the Stanford defense, although the Cardinal are tough on the front seven. And the Irish are at home. So it all adds up to a Notre Dame win over Stanford, 24 to 18. Need to hear from you. Talk it up. Give me your pick here on Mark Rogers TV.